per favore, non parliamo dell'Europa. No? Eh, non parliamo dell'Europa, no. no. Parliamo magari delle prossime... No, parliamo italiano, e inglese, io non so. Eh, sì, sì, per, perfettamente, eh, eh, mi conosce. Io ero il primo che ha scritto che lei diventava il ministro delegato della Fiat, il merger market e tutto il resto. Uh, do you think the, uh, the $35 billion fine that the Fed's imposed on GM, is that going to change how you or the other auto companies are approaching recall? No, because I think the issue is a, is a reputational issue associated with the brand that has to do with what we do as professionals. So I think the fine is, the fine is not going to be a deterrent, nor um, it's part of the administration of sanctions. <laughs> You know, the issue is much bigger. It's much bigger than the time. Right. Do you still think people are overreacting to the... What I said earlier is that I think given the nature of the events that we've seen in the last two or four months, I think it's more than likely that automotive houses will now shift their attitude and, and, and be even more crude than they would have been under the normal circumstances, and probably beyond what is required. It's difficult for me to tell. I just find the number of recalls that have come out of the just to be an astounding number. When you're just in sheer size, it can't be that all of a sudden we woke up and we were out here huge. So there must be a change in attitude inside the house. Um, we're beginning to see it in our shop. Right? No. We're beginning to see people getting, um, getting truly, truly cautious. M Mr. Marchion. Where would you see the consolidation for an M&A buy, in automotive or in agriculture and uh, um, construction? Um, more case New Holland or more Fiat no, Chrysler? I, I, I think it's the automotive side still, quite far from the entire subject. So. Do you think the listing will still be happening this year? Absolutely. I'm working my bonds up to make sure that happens. Trust me. It needs to happen now. You alluded to a few chain to uh, some more internal, uh, I guess, urgency for uh, recalls and, and more caution. Uh, are, are you doing anything differently now? I mean, uh, can you elaborate on those comments you know, one a little of the bit? Things we've done, I, I, I've said this publicly. I, the process is outside of my sphere of influence. We have, and it's run by technical people um, who are the only true evaluators of the risks associated with these components. Um, I've, we've, we've started, uh, and it's underway now, we've started a, a review process um, with external people and also external consultants to try to take a look at this, at, 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 the, at, the, Chrysler, um, at the Chrysler process itself to find out whether we can improve it. They're going to benchmark it against other people. We're going to try and take a look um, to see whether we're doing all the right things. To the best of my knowledge, I think that the, 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 the vehicle recall committee that's in place and all the work that's done by the technical staff is world class. If we can improve it, we will. I, I, you know, we have taken this seriously. We continue to take it seriously. It's nothing to be swept under the carpet. It's not something that's going to go away. It's going to go away in two months. So it needs to become an endemic part of the organization. And I think if effectively this frequency of recalls becomes Norm. If everybody starts doing this, then I think you will see this cost increase just as a consumer. It will transfer itself over time to, to the fund of business, which is fine too, as long as we understand what we're doing, but we need to understand it. And for consumers, which other direction can work safely, but which can, you know, how can they value it? So, well, no, buying I, less I, or I, buying differently? No, no, I think people will just, the, look, you have to trust the houses. The houses will adjust their method. I mean, we just, we're, we're too big, too knowledgeable, and too smart not to do it. So there's a point in time in which it's going to become a level playing field. It won't be a differentiating factor. It's already there now. Mm -hmm. Do you think you can reach an early deal with the UAW if you start to talk soon, like way in advance? They'll still take to them. I don't know. We'll wait, right? We're going to get together with Bob and Dennis before Bob steps down. I don't want to prejudge the event. I think it has to go through a formal process. I am told that Dennis. And, and do you think the bad reaction of analysts to the five-year plan has that given you any, you know, the, the sell off the stock? Has it caused you to change your mind at all? You met Harry, right? Yeah. Ron Rowe, the guy I talked about. Right. There's lots of Harrys in there, and then there are companies like Chrysler that do stuff. Let them do stuff.
And what about fear? I mean, Kaiser is doing stuff. What about fear? How is fear yes. doing? Yes, we'll do stuff with practice. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's part of the plan. And I think that the world has changed the fear, and the world has changed the crisis. And the organization will do a lot more. What's, what's the chances for the uh, American Pavilion at Expo 215 at this moment? What is the chances? Of having an American Pavilion? I have zero idea about that one. <laughs> really. If you ask me whether it's raining in Sao Paulo right now, I can't tell you either. You, you have a better chance of answering that Can question. you give some investment in Admiral Fury starting in two weeks? Like and I, I, never, I never made any comments about two weeks, but the, the investment will start. And the one in Poland? I, we, we have issued a comment saying that we know nothing about the investment. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's cool.